Hi everyone. So I'm making this quick video to show you my new tool, Faucet. So what is Faucet? Faucet aims to um, solve a problem um, for R. Mainly, um, how do how do I make my API asynchronous? Okay, so how do I allow my Plumber API to accept multiple connections or more or more than that, handle multiple requests at the same time, without having to use promises? Um, so what is the problem with promises? Um, basically, promises don't allow you to take connections from databases. So if I look here, database, yep. So as you can see, future code blocks cannot use resources such as database connections and network sockets that work within the parent process. Um, this makes it basically impossible for you to use database connections or but it makes it impossible to use promises in anything that has to fetch data from a database, which is quite bad since mostly you want to use um, this for anything that has to do with an API, right? You probably want to fetch data from your database. And if you're IO bound instead of CPU bound, this is going to be a big problem. It's going to block and it's going to make things quite impossible to work with. Also, promises start a new session pretty much on every function call of your asynchronous task. Um, this basically, so yeah, the launch method, it, I, so even multi-core, for example, each new task is a forked child process. So every time a request is made, you have to start a new process. This can create quite a lot of overhead. Um, so this is quite, this, this could, this could be quite bad, right? Um, I, I, I think, um, the solution that Faucet offers is quite cool. So basically what Faucet is, is a reverse proxy that uses a lock guard system to guarantee that only one plumber session handles one request at a time. So basically Faucet spawns multiple child plumber workers. So it spawns multiple sessions. And every time a request is sent to the endpoint, it's gonna look for the next plumber session that is free to receive a connection. Um, this basically means um, your API can handle as many as how many cores you have in your computer, um, or if you're IO bound, perhaps even more, um, it's gonna be able to handle many requests simultaneously without having to worry about anything. Um, so the, the purpose of Faucet is to make it fearless. You can just create your API, do some little things and it will get to working. So I'm going to get to building um, an API with Faucet. So I'm going to create a directory. It's going to be called video API, right? And I'm going to sit into video API. Here I am. Um, the first thing I'm going to remove this for now. So um, what do I need to, I think you can look right. Yeah. Okay, so what do I need? I need a plumber file, right? MBM um, plumber.r. I'm just gonna copy this API right here, right? And I'm gonna add something little to the echo. I'm gonna add a sys.sleep um, for five seconds, for example. What this will cause is it's gonna simulate. So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna make like um, long function gonna be a function it's gonna do very basically this I'm gonna take here message equals this right um, so I'm gonna call here long function message so basically what I'm doing here is, is I'm creating this function that simulates a really long um, probably IO bound calling a database doing something like that right it's gonna take quite a while it's gonna be uh, simulating a long um, process a long operation so this long function it's just the echo I'm going to hear instead of list message, it's going to be here message, right? Perfect. Um, but yeah, so this function will take five seconds to run, right? Okay. What do I need to do next? I need to create an entry point that R and I can just copy this from the readme. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it. Um, this environment variable faucet port is an environment variable sent to the worker that the faucet runtime basically gives to it so that it knows where to listen on. And that's it. We have our API. Now we can run faucet. And I'm gonna run faucet help to kind of get some documentation. Um, as you can see here, the directory, by default, it runs on the current directory, but 
Am I recording? Yes. <laughs> it it can run on any directory. So if you're on Docker or whatever, this will work. Then the host, by default, it's 127.0.1.0.01. Basically means localhost, but this can be whatever you need to. The port you want Fawcett to run on, by default, it's 8080. Um, the child port is basically on what port do you want child processes to start spawning on. W um, is the number of workers. So if not specified, it's the number of CPUs on your computer. Um, so in this case, default 16, right? Because I have 16 threads on my computer. Help will give you the summary, right? And version will print out the, the version, right? Sounds good. So let's run our, our API. Um, so if I just run faucet, it's gonna, as you can see, start some PIDs with different Flumber workers. Um, it's gonna give each of them an IP. This is just the standard out from the different processes. Um, as you can see, they all run on the ports 8001, 8002. Don't worry about this. You're just gonna be calling um, 8080 or the one that you specify on faucet. So now I can go, for example, here to 8080 docs and I have um, slash, I'm missing a slash, right? And I have my Swagger API. I can try it out. I can have this takes five seconds, right? And it's gonna run for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. It should return. It returns what I need, right? This message takes, this takes five seconds, right? So I'm gonna open this same tab on an incognito window um, just so that Chrome doesn't recycle the connection, which that would make it blocking. Um, I want to basically use different connections um, so to have no problem with it. So if I run, this should take five seconds, but um, while running concurrently, right? I'm gonna copy this message here. Um, if I were on a single plumber session, um, it would take 10 seconds, right? Because it will take five seconds for one and five seconds for the other. But with faucet, as you can see, we can execute here, execute here, and they should both finish pretty much at the same time. So, ta ta. as you can see, they both finish pretty much at the same time. I can do this for another one. Let me open up, um, nah, I think, I think the message is quite clear. I'm running them concurrently and I'm never gonna have guaranteed, I'm never gonna have um, two connections try to go to the same plumber worker since we have a lock system. If all workers are busy for some reason, which is unlikely, but it could happen, um, it's gonna wait until it can get a free one. So it's gonna take the, the next one. So if one finishes, it's gonna go to that one, right? Um, so that's basically how Faucet works. Um, I created here CD projects, personal test plumber API. I created this little script. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm running a bunch of times the same thing. So I'm just gonna copy this a bunch of times. Um, so here async five. So I'm running the same connection concurrently. I'm gonna run it, for example, six at the same time. This should be enough. So if I do this um, in a, typical plumber session, it would take six times five seconds, so 30 seconds. In this case, they're all gonna run at the same time. So run that as H and they should, it should take five seconds, right? One, two, three, four, five. It should be done by now. Yep. Look, we got here async two, async five, async four, async six. Um, am I missing async one? Um, what happened to async one? I don't know what happened to async one. Okay, that's weird. Um, if I zoom out perhaps, um, so I don't know why it's not calling. Oh yeah, here's async one, async two. I don't know why it's not <laughs> calling all of them. Perhaps something to do with standard out. I have absolutely no idea, but that doesn't matter. Um, we can hear see here, 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 seeing the logs. We're getting all of them taking about five seconds to respond. Um, we can see from which IP they're getting called from the method. We can see basically, basically everything that we need to. Um, so that's it for faucet. Faucet basically here, if I signal, signal kill, it's gonna be killing PID. It's gonna kill all the workers so that we don't have any problems. Um, so that's basically how faucet works. Faucet, you can get the, the code in the description. It's still in super early development. It should not be used in production under any case, but 
um, contributors are welcome. Create a PR. Leave some suggestions. Um, this, I think, will make um, developing Plumber APIs and actually deploying um, deploying Plumber APIs on a web scale is going to be much easier. Um, this creates a very cool concurrency model for R, which I think works awesomely. Um, leave, it me, leave in the comments any suggestions, and I'll see you in another time.